former Mets standout Ron Darling believes this is going to be a very special year for the Mets. In speaking with John Harper of the Daily News on Saturday, Ron said that he expects, and I'm quoting here, a magical year out of the Mets starting pitching quintet of Syndergaard, Harvey DeGrom, Mats, and Zach Wheeler. Quoting Ron once again, I really think they're going to give you a show like you haven't seen in quite some time. I would be completely shocked if they don't. And quote, and with that, we welcome you. It's Mets Hot Stove presented by Geico. Gary Apple sitting alongside Nelson Figueroa and Jim Duquette. And one of the things that Ron said in the article is that he's uh, seeing a similarity from the 88 staff that he was a part of that bounced back after a bit of a World Series hangover in 1987. So what about you? I'll begin with you on this, Jim. Are you seeing the Mets pitchers bouncing back this season? You know, to me, it's one of those in the front office side of things. It is difficult to predict career years coming off of injuries for and really we didn't do that you know and that's what really I think the way that Ronnie was talking about that's what it seemed like he was saying here and not that they're not going to have good years I think they have to stay healthy though to have good years but to have great years all of them at the same time that is difficult to do and especially some of the guys who you know have done Matt's hasn't really done it Wheeler's coming off of a, of a we you know, over a year and a half now of not pitching Harvey you hope gets off and I think he's the one guy of this I expect DeGrom and Syndergaard to pitch at a high level Harvey I, I expect him to turn things around it's just the other two and how good it, can it really be that's going to be I think the question for me and, and I think we're, you know it really remains to be seen I think the difference is in 1988 when you talk about bounce back years you're looking at guys that were putting up career number of innings when they came back bouncing back these guys are going to be on a short leash they're not looking to push 200 250 innings that those days are gone so it's going to be tough to put up career great numbers when you don't get the opportunity to do so having said that these guys are as talented as they come they're all been kind of fine-tuned those surgeries now aren't like they were in those days in the past when you hear Tommy John you're no longer thinking oh this guy's career is over you're thinking his career might be just just beginning because he's going to be getting everything tightened up again and be better than he could have been before the one thing that I do stress is that we've seen this before with the Mets with the NYPD Isringhausen, Pulsifer and Wilson remember how that turned out when they came in they were all hurt they never returned to four well th th these are different guys though I mean is that a fair estimate these guys have had success not in in concert completely getting through an entire season but they've had they've gotten this team to the World Series already so that, that, that they've laid a groundwork here to say okay we've had success whereas those guys they never reached the level that many thought they were going to reach plus the team didn't reach that level those right. guys may be in the short series and you know five game series those guys could have done the same things so you have to look at it from that aspect it's not solely based on what they did their performance in that one season remember it's just been one season we haven't seen full seasons from all five of these guys at the same time sky is the limit but again the sky could fall in rather quickly you're talking about four guys coming off surgery to fill into the staff with Noah Syndergaard who is nursing an injury himself you know it's hard to compete with that 86 87 88 oh, yeah. group I mean, those guys were off the charts incredible and they were able to give you 200 plus innings. I think what's interesting is when you see that, and as soon as I saw it, I picked up, I was looking for the projections, and I picked up the, the grandfather of the statistical projections <laughs> is Bill James. His book just came out, ironically. So let's look at what he had to say for the 2017 season. Now, it's again a mixture of, of the last couple of seasons, and you have to factor in the injury issue. Each one of them, you know, there's 29, 28. The only guy that he had projected to, for 32 starts was Syndergaard. And, but ERAs are all impressive. If they get those now, if, if you could sign up for Harvey at 172, 319, he may not sign up for it, but if you're in the front office, you would. So it's going to be, I think, at a pretty high level. Those are fantastic. If they hit all of those numbers, Wheeler was on 11 starts. But, you know, I think so that part of it, I think, in context was kind of interesting from the statistical side of things. Now, can they get there? How are they going to be handled in spring? All of these things. Can they stay healthy? That's going to be de uh, really determine their entire season.